first time and then, uh, yeah, this is my first time in here. Okay, hello friends, this is our first day of uh, uh, Global Young Leaders Dialogue Shanxi Tour first day and today we are here at uh, Paoshan uh, to see this beautiful place and let's see how it looks like. Let's go! Friends, here we are. This is one of the beautiful pagoda in uh, in uh, Xi'an. You can see in my uh, back view. There are hundreds of uh, old photos displaying the exchanges okay. and communications that the Communist Party of China hmm. had with international community friends from international community. Yeah, 是我们中国共产党的历史上最辉煌、最曲折，也是最艰难的时期。这段历史为我们今天的呃人类命运共同体起到一些积极的作用。we are on a viewing platform yeah. overlooking the entire uh, Nango village yeah. and we can see different uh, sections of their ecological economy. Yeah. And this place is uh, especially very famous for uh, because the provincial government and the local government they did a very great job for poverty elevation because if the people are earning good money, they are, they are called to fly, it would be better and better. But now what I'm thinking about now is picking yeah, picking cherry and uh, apple. in the moment. So we can see the the, the cherries on on the tree, yeah. and uh, yeah. as Balco said, this is definitely the most delicious cherries I have mm. tasted mm. recently. We also learned that uh, this cherry picking garden adopts a very advanced technological management system yeah, to ensure its uh, production. Yeah. And these, uh, this place and these uh, cherries are organized and uh, planted by the local villages, local people here. My biggest takeaway from this visit is that it was a period of time when the Communist Party of China deepened and enhanced its connection with the people and uh, further deepened its root in the people. And it was also a period of time when the Communist Party of China gained wider and wider support from across the country and also from the international community. We are at the former residence of Mao Zedong and I will show you some inside views. So this is the former residence of Mr. Mao Zedong. You can see some old pictures of Mr. Mao Zedong and this is the living bed, some of his, uh, some of his collection of books. Whenever we talk about China's success, we talk about China's uh, domestic uh, achievements, really the focus is how normal common people are seeing a better life. Visited and we experienced the well-being of common people and how the Communist Party of China play an important role to make the better living conditions and to improve the quality of life of common Chinese people. And I think this is a very big lesson for other countries. They can learn this model, they can use this model, and they can also make better the, uh, the quality of life of their people. 